everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're going to be discussing... Why do I always do this before a video? I'm always like, oh, I'm so excited. I was just kind of like thinking the other day, um, and this idea came into my head, and I thought that the way I can talk about like dieting and, you know, why there's weight gain with dieting and stuff, is to kind of do mini reviews on a lot of popular diets out there. Maybe you're doing one right now and that's why you're gaining weight and you know, you'll hear this video, you'll like a light bulb will go off and you're gonna go, oh, that makes total sense. So I've never seen anybody do a video like this where they kind of did like mini reviews of diets. So I hope you guys enjoy this, it's something different. The first diet that I wanna talk about are restrictive diets. So we have vegans, vegetarians, and gluten-free. Before we jump into uh, talking about this is I'm talking about the person that is doing one of these diets because they want to lose weight. So they're only looking into veganism for weight loss, being a vegetarian, uh, gluten free. They think that those things will help them lose weight. So that's all I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about health reasons. I don't even know when this started in my head exactly, but the thing with vegan, vegetarian, and gluten free is that somehow it's programmed in my head and maybe others as well that it's healthier. So if I see vegan cookies, that they're healthier because they're vegan. Um, if I see gluten-free chips or gluten-free bread, I want to buy it because guess what? It's healthier. And that's not the case. A lot of gluten-free stuff is so processed, so bad for you. A lot of th this vegan food, like there's vegan junk food. And I like, for some reason, when I think of veganism, I think of you know, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, because I'm thinking of what I see on Instagram, okay? I'm thinking of what I see on YouTube. I'm not thinking about what's like a real life vegan. I'm not thinking about that. But recently I did go to a vegan restaurant and the stuff is like high in sugar, high in carbs, high in calories. All that stuff, just because it's not made with animal products, doesn't make it any less sugary or it's not gonna spike your insulin. There are ways to eat junk food on a vegan diet, vegetarian diet, and gluten-free diet. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do any of those things. I'm just saying that if you are doing those things and you're experiencing weight gain, that could be why. I mean, just because, you know, you buy gluten-free bagels or chips or something, it doesn't make it, you know, it's not like they pull the carbs out of it. You know what I mean? Yes, you can lose weight on all of these diets, but a lot of times the people that are losing weight um, on a vegan diet, vegetarian, or gluten-free, are not eating the junk food. You know what I mean? They're not They're not doing the imitation stuff. Just because it's not good for you, whether it's vegan, whether it's regular, it's still not good for you. The next diet I wanna talk about is the military diet. You guys are the ones who told me about it. I asked you guys on Snapchat, is there any diet that you're following right now that you just, you don't know if it's working um, or you just wanna hear my opinion on it? A lot of you guys said the military diet. I couldn't believe how many of you guys are doing that diet. Um, and I didn't know much about it, so I did have to Google it. And one of the things that I found with the military diet that I thought was interesting is it just focuses on quick results. It doesn't really talk about long-term effects. Um, it doesn't really talk about being on this diet for a long time. It talks about quick results. One thing that I did kind of find funny with the military diet is it's so strict, but then you can have one scoop of vanilla ice cream or something like that. Um, and I think that's kind of the whole like, oh look, you're not giving up the food you like, you can have one scoop. The problem with any diet like that that just focuses on, you know, short-term goals, uh, short-term weight loss, yeah, you're going to see results in the beginning, but this isn't something you can stick to or stay on long-term. Um, even if you're like, oh, well, my goal is only to lose 10 pounds, I just want to lose 10 pounds, and I can do that on the military diet. Okay, but what happens after you lose the 10 pounds? You still have to maintain and still work towards your goals. Uh, there's no easy way to kind of just fake it, and it kind of pisses me off when some of these diets are like, oh yeah, we'll help you just, you know, kickstart your diet and then, you know, continue to do something healthy. Um, if you just start in the beginning eating healthier, uh, reducing your portion size, you don't have to follow any of these crazy diets. The thing that I don't like about a diet that is just focused on short-term goals is you're going to put all this work in, you're going to reach your short-term goals, but then you're not going to be able to maintain it because now you're like, well, now what? This diet was just a quick thing. This isn't something long-term. Now what am I going to do? Something else that can happen from that is you end up not only gaining the weight back the following weeks, you gain more weight back because now you're so hungry, your body feels deprived, your body's like, ah. If you're going to put in the work to be on a diet, just do it the right way from the beginning. I promise you. Um, you can follow my cookbook if you run out of any recipes. You know, think about it this way. If you're gonna do the military diet, that means you are gonna have to put in work, right? You might as well just start with eating healthy, reducing your portion sizes, working out, 
um, you know, drinking lots of water, you might as well do all that from the beginning, you know? You don't have to take severe measures to do it. And the last few diets that I want to talk about, I'm grouping them all together. A lot of you guys were sending me all different ones, but at the end of the day, they kind of shared like the same theory. Um, and that's where you kind of are buying this whole system. So you're getting like vitamins with it, you're getting like pills, like weight loss pills, you're getting, um, me and Jared, we're calling them like potions, and you're getting like all this stuff, and then like a cookbook. Um, so you're getting like shakes that you drink before, and shakes you drink after. And I really despise diets like this. I said on Snapchat, I was like, some people are not going to like what I have to say about things like this. Uh, I think they're selling false hope. I think that they're adding in the cookbook because they, they don't believe in their product enough. Um, I think these things have big scam written all over it. I think that it's just disgusting. Um, yeah, see, like strong opinions. Um, I've seen family members of mine spend a ton of money on things like this and just feel terrible, feel like, oh my gosh, I thought I was going to lose all this weight. Um, and it's kind of like, it's kind of like all the saying that you you can't just hope that there's like a magic potion that you're gonna lose weight. Like uh, these these diets that they say, oh, mix this powder in your water and you drink that before you you know before every meal or something like that. You're gonna lose weight, but it tells you the meals to eat too. Do you know that you can just buy a cookbook um, or like their cookbook or something or any cookbook and you're gonna lose weight? You don't need all these pills and potions. The thing with diet pills that can really get dangerous is they speed up your metabolism and they can make you feel like, ah, like jittery. And you don't know the long-term effect that has on your metabolism. You know, what if down the line, I can't lose weight the natural way because now my metabolism is shot from these pills or something like that. And the same with the teas and, you know, all these like fitness teas and stuff like that. I just think they're selling false hope. Um, a lot of these teas as well also come with cookbooks. And the reason being is because they know, these companies know that you're not gonna lose weight just drinking fit tea. So that is everything guys. I hope you learned something or enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you agree with any of the things I said, or even if you disagree, let me know down below and we can talk about it. So um, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat for more behind the scenes. Visit my website if you're interested in my cookbook and I'll see you guys soon, bye.